The Story of Peppa Pig Once upon a time, there was a lovable, sightly, busty little piggy named Peppa. Snort, grunt, grunt, more than anything in the whole wide world. Peppa loved jumping up and down in the muddy puddles. Mommy Pig was Peppa's mommy. She was very wise. About musty most things, my pig was said. Peppa, when do you jump in the muddy puddles? You must wear the boots. Squish, squish. Daddy Pig was Peppa's daddy. He loved eating the cookies. And he had a big round tummy. <laughs> when Daddy Pig jumping in the muddy puddles, he made a very big muddy splash. Ho ho ho, splash. When Peppa's little brother George was born, Peppa helped him look after him, and as soon as George was old, now Peppa taught him how to, how to jump in the muddy puddles. George! Peppa said, just like a muddy pig, if you jump in the muddy puddles, you must wear, you wear, you wear boots. Squish, squish. George liked money puddles, but he likes his toy. Mr. Dinosaur, more even than George couldn't speak yet, he couldn't say one word in the web. Dinosaur! Grrrr! Sometimes have a gun a little bit. Enough for you, George. George, see, see, he will sigh. What do you always say? Dinosaur! For everything is so boring! One day, Papa George, my pig, and Daddy Pig got into their little car and drive to her new house on top of a little green hill. Papa was excited about the new house, but she was very excited. About the very wet, extremely muddy puddles in the yard. Can we go and jump in the muddy puddles? Asked Peppa. Near me, time for bed, Peppa. Repeat, Mommy, a story you have to wait until tomorrow. Peppa and George woke up very early the next morning. Went to the fire, Bobby and Daddy Pig. Hee 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 Can we please go outside and jump in the money puddles? Asked <laughs> Peppa, excited. So sorry. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to the Granny and Grandpa Pig's house today. How about we pay a little We can jump in the money puddles to tree there. Other rabbits. It was time to leave, so Peppa and her family jumped into her little car. Ready? Yes. Ask Daddy Big Tree. Yes, Daddy Big. And it was the next step. Let's go, shout Daddy Big. Be cried Peppa. She couldn't wait to get her granny and grandpa's house and jump into my puzzle. Families, the family soon, <laughs> soon arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Peppa and George were very excited. They loved going to Mrs. Granny and Grandpa Pig. Grand, grand, granny Pig, Grandpa Pig, Gaggy Pig, Papa Egg. Granny and Grandpa Pig cried, Peppa, Granny Lag, Egg, Papa Egg. So, George. Hello, my little ones. And straight, Granny Pig, come inside. <laughs> Granny said, Peppa, I can jump in the muddy puddles, please. I think Grandpa Pig has something to show you first. Peppa and said, Granny Pig, Peppa was a little disappointing. Well, the really wanted to jump in the muddy puddles. Grandpa Pig, Dukes, Peppa and George. To his friend's garden. Then this is the where to grow and my vegetables," <laughs> said Grandpa Pig.
Brissai plant some seeds. Can you, we eat your mommy yummy vegetable? Grandpa, ask for for we're getting for the money puzzles. We have to wait for them to grow. And when they bigger, bigger, we pop up, Grandpa. Ooh, guess Papa excited. So, so, veggies. Sorry, there was a loud and bang. Oh, dear. Guess big Peppa Pig, Grandpa Pig, Grandpa Pig. Oh, there's one of thunder. That means it's going to rain. So we'll hurry inside before it's getting wet. How about George? My grandpa big ran inside my fast and they couldn't get out of the rain. Papa and George watched the rain. Splish, splash, splash. Then we don't just start to cry. Don't cry, George, said Papa. When the rain died, so. But George wasn't crying because it was raining. George was crying because he had lost Mr. Dinosaur. Papa searched upstairs, downstairs, and he was in the toilet. But she couldn't find Mr. Dinosaur anywhere. Just then, because she had an idea. Papa ran outside and found the room went Mr. Dinosaur. And uh, Grandpa's very muddy puddles garden. She ran inside and gave the Mr. Dinosaur to Groot George. George was very happy. The rain has stopped it, cried Papa. What can you we do now? I have a very good idea. Papa said they pick pointy outside. 